Okay, so I had totally forgot to film an intro to this video and I was going to leave it but because I haven't done a vlog in so long I felt like this vlog needed an intro. I should also point out that I am filming this as I'm editing it so it's been about a week since I filmed the clips. I've since got my hair cut <laughs> so just in case there's any confusion because in the video I don't have short hair so i wanted to start doing vlogs again but i just don't have the same time that i used to i used to have four days off in a row i don't anymore and i work an extra day so it's not really the same but with this weekend um being a bank holiday weekend i was gonna have four days off so i thought i might as well take the opportunity and vlog it um, and show you what I get up to. I plan to do some more vlogs as well so any time that I have time off work, if I've got any more long weekends, if I go anywhere or even if I do anything that interesting I can make a daily vlog around it um, and I have since also filmed some more beauty videos so they'll be going up soon, uh, more planning videos so I'm essentially just trying to make an effort with YouTube again because last year I totally neglected it because I just kind of lost motivation. Life got a little bit busy. I had a cold this week, so nothing drastic. But the other week I was actually in hospital um, and I had a brain scan for migraines. It was all clear, so all fine. Um, but I think I was probably quite run down from the stress of that. And then I've ended up with a cold. But I just thought I'd mention that as well because obviously during the video you can tell that I'm quite ill. Um, so it starts off on Friday, which is Bank Holiday Friday. And my mum and grandma mentioned going to the beach, which I thought would be an amazing idea because obviously I was quite unwell, full of colds. But I thought having some fresh air would be good for me. Spoiler, I think it probably made me worse. But it was a nice day out. So that's where we start. We just got home the train was literally delayed by like an hour um so i'm really tired now my ear hurts from the wind um and although i thought it would do me a lot of good being ill i feel like i now feel worse because we um walked up loads of steps and i had to run at one point um that's just macy running around um hi darling i've got her some things so i'll show you what i bought i just picked up a few bits um but yeah i'm just gonna get settled probably just put my pajamas on james is due in any minute so i'm gonna ask him to walk macy because i walked her before so i bought myself a couple of things i got this little um grapefruit candle that was on sale um which is dw home which is one of my favorite candle brands and it smells really nice and i just thought it would go very cute in my bedroom and then i also bought one of these key rings which i've seen in like clinton's cars all the time and i've really wanted one i just thought they were really cute and i never got one but it was on sale for 350 so i thought i would get that to go on my keys 
And then I picked up a few things for Macy. Um, she is going through her toys like there is no tomorrow at the moment. Um, so I got her this, which was literally a pound, which I thought was quite good because it's got loads of ridges. Um, so I can put peanut butter in that because she really likes peanut butter um, and maybe put it in the freezer. And then I got her this toy. Um, which looks like a little pig and I thought this would be good because I do think there's a bit of fluff in the head um, but the rest of it's like a crinkle material and a rope um, which I thought would be good because if it's got fluff in she just literally wrecks it straight away um, so I thought that would be good so I got her the little pig and then I also got her a couple of packs of treats as well I almost forgot but I also got um, this like cookie bar from Sip and Sugar which was a little market stall. I follow them on Instagram and I seen they were going to be in Redka today so on our way back I went and picked up a Snickers um, cookie bar so I'm probably going to share that with James tonight but how good does that look? Anyway, so that is it. And um, we had a really nice day out, had some lunch and then had a walk around Saltburn. It was so cold and windy, um, but it was still nice. And then we also went to Red Car and got an ice cream and had a little walk around. So a nice day out. Um, but as I said, I'm now so tired. Um, so I'm going to go and get my pyjamas on. I'm going to make um, me and James tea. I'm not even that hungry yet because obviously I had a big meal. So I might just have like a wrap or something. Hi, baby. Macy, what's this? What's this? Oh my goodness! Is this a new toy? Is this a new toy? Is it? <laughs> okay, so the toy is a win. <laughs> do you want this one too? She's like, yes, please. And do you want this as well? She's like, yes, please, mummy. You can have a little pre-dinner treat. Huh? My sofa is literally such a mess because she's been chewing all yak bone on here. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, she's such a good girl. I don't know if I've actually done a vlog while having Macy because um, it's obviously been a while, but Macy is now eight months, I want to say. Maybe a little bit more. Um... She is very full on, um, definitely still in the puppy stage, very bouncy, she's quite good to be fair, like at home she chills a lot, she's really good like with other dogs and she is friendly, she's just very bouncy and very big aren't you, you're a big puppy, yes. You play it. So I've just come into the bathroom to tear my makeup off. I'm having a bit of an early night tonight because I'm at work tomorrow. Um just for four hours. I feel a little bit all over the place because obviously Wednesday's my day off. Thursday I was ill. And then today has been bank holiday, so I've been off. So I'm feeling a little bit all over the place. Um and I'm still a little bit ill, obviously, so I'm gonna have an early night tonight. So we've just finished The Night Agent, which is on Netflix. I would definitely recommend. Um it was really good. So we just finished that. I am and obviously had tea. Um, and tomorrow after work, I know that I need to go food shopping, but other than that, that's like my only plan, but it's also like work and food shopping is going to take up the majority of like morning and afternoon. I was thinking we could maybe like do something cute and Easter themed, like making rice crispy cakes or something, you know, like mini eggs, um, and maybe watching a movie something like that um so tomorrow's gonna be pretty chilled if i've got any spare time it'll probably be spent cleaning the house i enjoy having <laughs> a long weekend because i just feel so tired um we've been looking at holidays for june um i just feel like i really need a holiday at this point as well but also i've been watching louise pentland's vlogs of when she went on a cruise and 
I've now got it in my head that I really want to go on a cruise, but they are expensive. Like I said, but I use the Camel Cleansing Bottle from the Body Shop, which I absolutely love. As a second cleanse, I'm going to use a tiny bit um, because I've almost run out of the Cetaphil uh, Gentle Skin Cleanser. Cetaphil have actually very kindly sent me some gifted skincare um which i'm really excited about so i'm looking forward to opening that and trying them all good morning so i've just come downstairs before i get dressed um to have some breakfast just because i'm still quite unwell so obviously i can't take loads of tablets with an empty stomach um if anyone cares i'm having one of these yogurts which literally are the best yogurts i've ever ever had um it's the muller bliss cheesecake ones Macy's ah Macy Macy's jumping up um and honestly they're so good they're quite expensive you get like four for like three pounds something but if you go to Morrison's Macy down if you go to Morrison's you get like two packs of eight of them for three pound fifty so would recommend anyway just on my um skincare makeup brush my hair so I just need to get dressed I'm going to work um which will be until 12 hopefully um, and then I think me and my mum and grandma are going to go food shopping straight after. Um, so obviously a bit of a boring morning afternoon, like I said. Um, but I'll show you whatever I get up to afterwards. So that's the plan. I am honestly so tired. Um, I feel a little bit rubbish this morning, but I'm hoping once the tablets kick in, I feel a bit better. So. I hope no one's watching me uh, talk in the car. Um, so it's almost three o'clock i'm not even home yet i feel like i've been out forever obviously left the house before half eight finished work at 12 and then we went to Lidl to get some things and then went to morrison's i mean we did have like a brunch in morrison's to be fair um and then did some shopping and went to b&q um so we just dropped my grandma off now and then i'm gonna go home unpack i'll show you a couple of bits that i got and then i'm just gonna chill because i'm not gonna lie i'm so tired it's so warm like it'd be quite nice to go out today but like outside but i can't be bothered um and i'm hoping james has cut the grass because i've asked him to do that like that's one job that i really don't like doing so i'm hoping he's done that while i'm out um and yeah so tonight me and james are going to make some easter um rice krispie cakes so i think i've got some pastel colored um cupcake cases in the drawer so i just got some uh, cheap rice krispies some cheap chocolate i was going to get cadbury's but I didn't know how much chocolate to get like i really get confused with the ratio when making rice crispy cakes like how much chocolate you're gonna need so i got some milk and some white um i thought we could do both and then i got these i couldn't find any mini eggs i sent james to the shop and i said if he sees any to pick some up but to be honest i thought it might be just cute to put a little caramel uh, galaxy egg on top instead so that's what we're going to do tonight so I've just come upstairs and put some comfy clothes on. Um, I'm actually stood in the office, which has had a bit of a makeover recently. Um, I'll show you it when it's clean because other than what you can see, it's a bit of a mess, I'm not going to lie. There has been a few things that we've changed in the house recently. Um, I should probably do like an updated house tour because when we moved in, um, I did like a house tour and then when we kind of changed the flooring and the walls and things i did like an updated one and um like the kitchen and bathroom i've not done one since so it'd be quite fun to show you um uh, because obviously now it is filled with furniture um it's not complete there's still a lot of stuff we want to do but might be quite good to show you um yes yeah, so the office had a bit of a change and i will show you when it's tidy but i thought i'd show you what i bought from morrison's like there was only one thing that was worth showing you to be honest the rest was just boring food shopping but i got this new duvet cover so my bedroom color scheme is teal mustard yellow and blush pink and i absolutely love it um <clears throat> i think the office is quite like trendy and like some of the rooms in the house i want them to be like really bright and airy and like in the bathroom we've got kind of like beiges and neutrals the kitchen's mostly like white cream bit of green like sage green um but to me the bedroom and the living room I just really want it to be colourful and warm and cosy. I definitely think them colours suit that idea. Um, yeah, so I thought I would get this because I've seen someone on Instagram who has a similar bedding set and she's got like a really dark kind of blue 
wall and it just looks amazing i've got this for my bed i've also got like a mustard yellow um fitted sheet um and the duvet cover that we normally have on is like blush pink with like leopards which obviously have kind of like a mustard color kind of pattern to them um and we've got some new curtains as well which will match so yeah i'm excited to put that on the bed it's got two sides so the other side's um got like a thinner mustard yellow stripe and it's mainly white um and i'm excited i thought that would be quite good for like spring summer and it was 16 pound which i thought was quite good for a king size duvet and i've also received a sheen order so i thought i might as well quickly show you on here um i really miss doing hauls on my channel but i just do not buy a lot of stuff at once um so this is a few bits that i got from sheen recently and jess asked me to get her a few things as well so the first thing's a bit random but I think it's like a silk white scarf. So I really wanted something in a silky white material for when I take photos for my Instagram. Kind of like flat lays of like skincare and stuff. So I just got that and it was really cheap, obviously from Sheen. I've got one of these headbands, which, oh my God, I'm gonna actually try on now. I really wanted one of these because they just look so cute and it's obviously like a flannel material i got it in pink they do so many colors i've seen them on tiktok shop as well actually i don't know if turn or i'll put it over my hair it's quite big actually it's bigger than i thought but how cute is that for like when i do my skincare and makeup i don't know about the ears popping out mind but yeah that's cute so that'll just obviously keep my hair back okay the next thing is in a box and i think it's a little dish that i got i expected this to be plastic like really cheap thin plastic because that's how it looked but it actually feels like i mean i don't know what material it is but it does actually feel like glass um and it's got kind of like a really nice pearlescent uh, rainbow effect to it again so the content for the instagram photos just turn it up the content level a little bit you know um so i think that's really cute i'm gonna put like little trinkets in but also like for skincare pictures like when i've bought new skincare i can lay them on there and do some really nice little flat layers um the next thing is a headband which jess ordered it's just one of those like um really simple black ones obviously i won't open that because that's hers um, this is something that I ordered for the office, so it gets really bright and sunny in here, which is really cute, um, and I thought, I've seen this and I thought it'd be really cute to have up, so it kind of just hangs, I don't know if it's going to be tangled, it might be a little bit tangled, oh no, hang on, nearly there, oh god, I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Oh, there. Okay, so it just hangs up like this. And I thought of attaching this bit here to my curtain pole so that it hangs kind of in between my two curtains. And then when the sun comes in, because obviously these are kind of like rainbowy crystals, um, it's meant to make like little flecks of rainbows in the room. I mean, I don't know how well that'll work. I might have to, oh no, I just tried it out and I can actually see it working. I just thought that'd be really cute because like I said, it is a really bright and sunny room in the office. So I got that. But something else that I ordered is a wash bag. So my sister has this as a set. Um, and I go to Ballantyne's gym and we often swim as well. Um, and I just wanted a really nice little bag for when we go swimming to put my um, like shampoo and conditioner and my body wash and things in. Um, and obviously it's like a waterproof bag. So this would be really good if you were going on holiday and traveling. Um, it's got like a little handle there and it just says wash bag. And it's a bit clear as well so you can see what's in there and um, but yeah i think they do three different sizes but i thought that one would be big enough and um, for my shampoo conditioner and other things that i'm going to take to the gym so i got that sister got a pink mirror um, and she also got these little heart puffs for her makeup i can't remember if she got this or i did i think she might have but i do want it as well um, and it's just one of those like gold flower bracelets um and it obviously kind of looks a little bit like them really expensive bracelets you know like what molly may wears and things um but they have them in loads of colors and the last thing that i got i think yeah is a couple of scrunchies now last night we had a scrunchie incident <sighs> macy likes to pull scrunchies out of my hair 
but now what I've noticed she does is once she's got them out of my hair she chews it until like the elastic breaks and it ends up being like a massive soggy mess which is really annoying um and last night she got my favorite scrunchie which is like a really pretty cream color with black stars and it's from a company that doesn't exist anymore so at least I've got a nice cream and black scrunchie now I mean it's not the same but um and then that's just like the flip of that because obviously it's black with a cream trim and I just thought they would be really cute in my hair because I'm um, wearing a lot more neutrals at the minute so yeah that's my little sheen haul I just thought I would share that while I was on here because obviously I mean I've been filming this for like six minutes ish um but that's obviously not enough content to sit down and film a video for um but when I get paid, I am thinking of maybe letting Jess do like my sheen order or pretty little thing order, something like that, um, and getting her to get some outfits for me to try. So that'll be fun. Ready? Go get it! Cause she keeps trying to eat the grass. Bye. And the dead bird cemetery situation. Just clean that, Miley. Thanks for that. I just cleaned that table. while we have our tea. Sunday um I've just been in the shower I actually had to lie in this morning which is very rare for me I normally get up eight o'clock the latest um and I literally slept in till 10 um also I've literally balanced my phone because my little tripod thing's downstairs so I've balanced oh I just thought I literally my mum literally bought me this little <laughs> phone tripod for Christmas and I completely forgot about it so I might get that out of the box um but I have got you balanced on a plug resting against a candle 
a Bath and Body Works candle that I had. Um, I always find it funny. I watch Louise Pentland's videos. I absolutely love her. Um, and she always says what she's got her phone balanced on, well, her camera balanced on, um, which I always find funny because it's always balanced on such random things considering that she is literally like a YouTuber. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so that's what you balanced on. And I have just been in the shower, just washed my hair. I'm obviously off Sunday, Monday. Um, and Wednesday, James is off. Um, I'm getting my hair cut in the morning and I'm thinking of maybe doing something with him. So that means that today and tomorrow I want to get everything done that I can, which is mostly going to be housework, so a lot of cleaning, but I've also got a bit of um, content creating to do, so some pictures to take um, of products. And I also want to chill because I've had quite a busy two days, to be fair, um, and James is at work for the next two days. So it means that I can binge watch on Netflix stuff that I like. So I'm watching uh, Love is Blind season four, and I'm also watching Cheshire Peak Shores. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, which is essentially clean, create content and chill. Just before I go downstairs, because I'm going to literally dry my hair, have some breakfast, and I'm going to take Macy for a walk. Um, so just before that, I thought I would do a little bit of skincare. And I have got the Cetaphil products that I mentioned the other night when I was cleaning my face. And I don't want to show... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek, but then I'm like, should I show you everything? No, I'm just going to show you a sneak peek because then it's going to make you hopefully want to go and see what else I got. Um, I'll probably do a photo on Instagram or a reel, um, but I'll probably do like a full like TikTok or reel um, showing everything and maybe trying some of them as well. So what am I going to show you? I'll show you the big one. So this is the Cetaphil Hydrating Foaming Cream Cleanser for dry to normal sensitive skin. Now my skin's a bit all over the place. It was always just dry and sensitive. I've now been getting a lot of breakouts. I've got quite dull skin, like especially under my eyes, dark circles. So they sent me a really nice range of products. I've got um, two, not three, just drop one three cleansers including this one um and then i've got some moisturizers as well so i'm going to cleanse my face and um, this is i think probably similar to the gentle skin cleanser which is another one i got sent but this is the one that i was using before which i got in my advent calendar so twist it to open it so this is a foaming cream cleanser so I'm thinking like surely there's not oh no it is coming out okay so this is what it looks like I mean I've definitely put too much on my hands but I can see how it's forming I don't know if you can tell but yeah it's a very nice like gentle for me cleanser so I'm just going to clean my face with this Um, I'm having quite a bit of dry skin at the minute because i think to be honest it's mainly from having a cold and when i've been blowing my nose i've made my skin around my nose just so dry and flaky i should obviously really be in the bathroom for this but the lighting is better in my office um and i'm gonna use very on brand at the minute i've got the pink top the pink headband pink flannel well i say pink it's literally disgusting um it's very stained because i always take my uh, mascara and stuff off with like a balm like a cleansing balm so it means that it all goes onto the flannel and stains it <laughs> but it's better than using wipes obviously so so that is my skin clean it feels very very soft and what i was going to say actually the other day when i was cleaning my face with this one um is that they are so gentle so like i just said i've had a cold and i've had a really like sore nose so any products that i was using around my nose was honestly so painful like stinging and there was two products that i found didn't do that so while so kind of like wednesday thursday when i was doing my skincare the only two products i actually dared use on my skin was the Cetaphil cleanser, which is the gentle skin cleanser, so it does say it on there, it's gentle, but also this little moisturiser from Drunk Elephant, which I've literally just finished. I got this in an advent calendar as well, and I feel like it lasted quite a while considering it's a really small size, but it is the polypeptide cream. And honestly, that was, again, just really gentle. Um, I used other creams and moisturisers while I was ill and I was like, ow. Like, the sting was just so bad, like, eye-watering. Um, but that didn't. <clears throat> so, 
it's a bit of a niche thing isn't it really but when I had a cold and my skin was that sore <laughs> from blowing my nose these were the only two products that didn't hurt my skin I suppose that might be also good for anyone that's just got really sensitive skin because I feel like as time's gone on my skin's got a little less sensitive but I used to quite often use products that made my skin feel like that anyway I'm going to stop rambling I'm going to go downstairs and have my breakfast also forgot but it is actually easter today um so this is the easter egg that i got off my mom which is just like the white um chocolate one from Thornton's. i actually kind of prefer white chocolate at the minute um so yeah that's my easter egg that's miley having a little look so i just thought i would show you a little behind the scenes um considering i have literally a whole office to myself upstairs i just find it a lot easier um obviously having a small well young but big puppy to just stay downstairs when doing things like this and um, she's just in the living room with a bone at the minute also i'm totally just going to live on these for the next few days so i have been actually writing some blog posts recently which is not like me because considering on instagram it says like i'm a blogger like i've never been a genuine blogger that writes blog post but i've always wanted to like i have in the past done a few like down here um like i did a little blogmas thing at some point um but it's just not something that i'm amazing at like considering i literally did computing at uni like i am so bad with websites anyway i've been doing a few blog posts um recently i did a few about like my first blood test and um, getting my tooth taken out my smear test and then going to the hospital just because i think especially like the smear test that's such an important thing and i am the biggest wuss ever and i just think like if i can tell people that you know i'm really scared of all of these things and I did it and it was actually fine like maybe I'll just help even just one person feel a little bit more relaxed and um, so I really wanted to talk about those I've then done like a little holidays diary um and then I've done like some about clothing my London trip I've got loads of things planned um but I've just been writing a few of those like editing the little um thumbnails and then I've also been doing some um i'm gonna well i'm gonna be kind of editing my youtube like banner um and just sorting out a few things like putting videos in a playlist and just having a bit of a a clear up a sort out um because sometimes youtube just gets neglected which it has for the last year or so um i've just changed this to say winter favorites instead of january favorites um because i'm going to do like seasonal favorites instead um i use pick monkey to do my thumbnails just because i absolutely love like this font and the um what's it called let me have a look the actual bit around it i know it's so simple but i've just like completely forgot can't find it now oh the outline <laughs> the outline um i just like it better than what i can get on canva which seems a bit silly because i literally pay for pick monkey just to do my thumbnails but um yeah i've been editing those and um, so i'm just going to do a little bit of sorting out on my youtube and schedule some blog posts and things and have my little rice crispy cake are you having your bone what's this is this your bone Girl. so i thought i'd show you a little bit of a behind the scenes of content creating so this is going to be for some skincare that i bought the other day and this is the um just like the silky bit of material that i bought from sheen so i'm just going to lay that flat and kind of scrumple it up a little bit and then i'm going to lay on the shell shaped dish that i got like look how pretty that is um just on top of this silk and maybe kind of like scrunch it around a little bit more and then on top i'm gonna lay the actual skincare product which is my new sps and just next to it i think i'm gonna put the box um and then i think because it is kind of orange and yellow colored skincare i'm gonna pop in some gold jewelry obviously this does kind of look like a trinket dish but I just think adding something like that makes it look a little bit more fancy. I've also got a gold chain necklace, which I might kind of just try and lay somewhere. But yeah, so now I'll just kind of have a mess around with it and um, to get a good shot of the skincare. It would have been better in the sunlight, but I've looked and today and tomorrow it's meant to be quite cloudy. So I don't think I'm going to get the natural sunlight. 
um but yeah so that's how i take my pictures for instagram okay so i'm such a mess right now i'm totally gonna out myself at how messy my office is right now but this is what happens i mean obviously i do like my skincare makeup in here and <laughs> um other things but um getting everything out to take photos of content and you know trying to like just set up a nice picture is actually so hard sometimes like i've got loads of like little like trinkety bits and things um for my photos but then it's like getting them out and then moving everything around like to adjust how things look so usually i've got like a mirror on here so i've took that off and i had loads of skincare that you could see here so i've like kind of chucked that behind me and it honestly gets so messy okay do excuse the noise outside if you can hear that but um another brand that i've been sent some products for is fluss and what that is is a flushable pad um a little bit strange a bit different to what i normally get sent but when they asked me if i wanted some i jumped at the chance because anything that can help make a difference i'm all for trying and obviously because these are flushable and um, there's no waste and i just think it's a really cool concept so the pad itself and wrapper are both flushable and um, they're also really soft so they're made with really soft material and i've actually come on today so i'm gonna give them a go and obviously therefore be able to give them a review it's quite funny actually because um I'll turn the camera around. So I was going to say, um, a bit TMI, but I've just come on today and I very rarely get periods, maybe like once every four months. And I wasn't prepared this month. Like I literally have no pads. So the fact that I've come on and not had any pads in the house, but these I think is quite funny. Um, so I'm actually going to be able to try them today. So I'm going to put one on now and see how we go. On the website, it'll tell you a lot more about it. Um, but I just think it's a really cool idea. So gonna give it a go excuse the noise because i feel like that noise literally reminds me of summer but um i was gonna change the bedding but we've got these two little fluff balls on the bed so i'm gonna have to wait because they will be so angry if i get them off Beep -beep. there's my little eye mask which i never normally wear so no wonder i ended up sleeping in hi Roops. she's like what's going on i'm just going to take macy for a walk and i've got some rice crispy cakes to take to give my mum and dad ignore the blood i need to clean her floor she's just finishing her season so i just got back um i just went to see my mum and dad and took them some rice crispy cakes and macy thoroughly enjoyed seeing them hi miles um I've now just taken the washing out the washing machine, which I'm going to go and pop on the radiators because it is quite dull today. Um, and then I'm going to make a jacket potato for my dinner, I think. And I'm going to sit down and watch the new episode of Love is Blind. So I'm very excited about that. Hi, Miles. And then after that, I'm going to wash up. Very boring. And probably do some cleaning. So I've got Love is Blind on and I've just put some Easter egg chocolate into this bowl and of course another Rice Krispie cake which as I said definitely going to be living off them and Macy has got her bone and is making a complete mess of the sofa as usual. 
She likes to sit literally on the back of the sofa, right on my neck. Don't you, fat lump? So there was actually, I think, three episodes of Love is Blind um, put on a Netflix and I've just been binge watching them all. Well, I'm on the third one now, um, <laughs> which I might, hello, <laughs> which I might save. Um, I think I'm going to go in the kitchen and maybe write some uh, blog posts and stuff. I still need to clean the house, but I'm just thinking I might. Do a little bit tonight because normally on an evening, Macy just literally lays on the sofa and sleeps. A bit like this. <laughs> um, well, that was a chew. Um, so that would give me a good ta like chance to go upstairs for a bit um, and do some cleaning. But obviously there's always tomorrow as well. Um, I'm just, whoa. Ugh, thanks. Um, yeah, just enjoying binging Netflix at the minute. And I think I might be getting a Chinese for tea, so... We normally have a Sunday dinner on a Sunday, but my mum said she's going to make it tomorrow instead and she's going to have a Chinese, so I might just have to have a Chinese. Okay, so <laughs> I am one of the most boring Chinese order people ever. Um, I wouldn't normally even get this, to be honest, but I'm not very hungry and I just wasn't really feeling like curry or anything, so I've literally just got um, noodles, salt and pepper chips and then a spring roll. <laughs> very plain but i'm gonna sit down and watch love is blind and eat this Um, it's on Monday and Macy's still asleep in a crate so I thought while she's sleeping I'm going to try and clean the bedroom and office well I say clean I won't hoover it because hoover's downstairs um, but yeah I'm going to put my new GV cover on I'm going to put some clothes away and then hopefully clean my office clean the bathroom yesterday night so at least that's done um, and I've literally got the worst period pins ever so that's fun Hi, Miles. Um, yeah, so that's the plan this morning. So this is what my new duvet cover looks like. I was a little bit worried that it would actually <laughs> make my eyes feel weird with it being quite thin striped. But I actually think it looks fine and I really like this side as well. Um, and then I think having the blush pink cushions do just torn it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I really like how it looks. Miley's just inspecting and then I've just changed my little bedside table. I've got these really cute little tea light holders from Primark um, and then just some other bits that kind of go with the room. I do really want to do kind of like a gallery wall behind the bed at some point, but yeah, really like it. So I'm just having a cup of tea. Um, I've put some washing on. Let Macy out in the garden and she ran away again. Long story short, we've got a hole in the fence because we're extending the garden. And um, before she used to just kind of have a wander around because there's like just obviously more land and some bushes and things and now she's discovered she can get through the bushes along to somebody else's garden who also has extended and she always runs off and doesn't come back so that was um quite eventful this morning um and now i'm just having like one of those moments where i just literally cannot be bothered to do anything miley's jumped up to see me so i'm gonna have my cup of tea um i did clean a little bit of the bedroom and office but not a lot because macy started changing um I'm going to go a little with my mum later, but other than that, I've got no plans, I think. Now Macy just jumped up, and now Miley's going to go for it. Um, I think once I've had my cup of tea, I might take Macy for a walk um, and then get some more housework done.
Lots of things for you to sniff up here, isn't there? Hey, socks. Oh, God. <laughs> so, I've just got in. It's literally pouring down outside. Um, I had some dinner at my mum's and stayed there with Macy for a bit. So, I was going to say I'm hoping she's, like, tired now, but she's still full of energy playing with her bone. Um, yeah, so... Just gonna take my coat off. I feel very full of cold. Oh my god, the state of my hair. Anyway. So I've just been spending some time um, sorting blog stuff out again and I have created this on PicMonkey. Now normally if I just go on here, where is it there? This is normally the layout of my like featured image for my blog posts. It was just something that I found. It was like this one that I kind of found first um, and I've just been using it. But I just wasn't loving how it looked and I really wanted kind of just like a cute scrap book vibe um so i'm really impressed with what i've done but it did take me ages admittedly um <laughs> but yeah i really like how it looks so i'm just really trying to make more of an effort with my social media because i feel like i've come so far and i kind of just have i wouldn't say let it go because i've still been posting like on instagram and stuff but i've just not been doing as much as what i probably could have been and um yeah so I just made that and then I've also wrote the actual blog post for this image as well so I think I'm going to go back on to these and re-edit them and um, just to make them look more like this but as I said it did actually take me ages I've also had a bit of a change around on my YouTube so I've re-edited my little banner um, and then just changed like the featured videos and playlists and things like that. Um, I was actually having a look on the earn section because I know personally it would take a lot for me to get like monetized that's what it obviously is. Um, kind of called when you earn money and before you, you had to get um 4,000 public watch hours in the last year and have a thousand subscribers but they've actually added one now where you can just get um well I mean I say just it's literally 10 million but 10 million views in 90 days on shorts instead I don't think I would get either of those in a very long time unless I really really put the work into it and I know that even if I did get monetized on youtube it is very like minimal money that you earn um as opposed to other things but i was so close i was literally on the three thousands um not last year but the year before with my videos and i was trying really hard but i think i just probably got deflated because it just never went over like whatever figure it was like it was in the three thousands but i could just never seem to get it over that figure because um obviously I could only post a certain amount, I could only like physically do a certain amount, um, so I've actually posted a little short um, 
of some beauty things, which was just something that I had on TikTok and Instagram anyways. Um, so I thought I might just have a go posting a few of those um, and see where I get to. So yeah, another little <laughs> behind the scenes of content creating. Miley is coming over to see me and I am literally just about to get ready to go to Lidl. <laughs> Miley, I'm just going to get ready to go to Lidl with my mum. Oh, oh, she stood on me. Are you comfy there? She's got a head on a pillow, koala bear behind her, resting on this cushion. Are you comfy? Want to go on your bed? She's like, no, not really, ma'am. Are you going to go on your bed while mummy goes shopping? <laughs> Giving me the side eye. Giving Lily a bit of brush. She's definitely the pet that you will see the least because she's quite scared, but also generally normally just likes to chill on the bed, don't you? She does love a brush though, which is obviously good because she's got very long fur. What's this? So I've just been editing the descriptions of my old Vlogmas videos just because I noticed I hadn't actually put a description on there um, and I started watching my Vlogmas videos and um, in the one that I'm watching at the minute I was given Miley her advent calendar and I was going what's this? really high pitched and that is now what I say to Macy when I've got a treat and things so she was literally sound asleep snoring on the sofa and obviously I had the vlog playing on my phone when she's just come running into the kitchen and now I feel really bad because I'm like I wasn't talking to you it's my phone um another thing which I've mentioned before is that whenever I talk to the camera Miley comes over sometimes she even meow she starts meowing I don't know if it's like jealousy and she's like why are you talking to someone not me or if she's just like really confused oh that's nice Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. So I've been waiting for Louise's um, most recent uh, cruise vlog to go live. Couldn't get my words out there. Um, so I'm just going to sit down and watch this for 20 minutes. I've got the rest of my Easter egg, which obviously isn't very much. Um, so I'm going to sit and enjoy this. Um, and then I'm going to go to my mum and dad's for some day dinner. Well, on a Monday, <laughs> but we're having it today. So I've got in and got my pyjamas back on and I think I'm going to end the vlog here because um, I'm just about to do the washing up and then after that I'm literally just going to chill on the sofa. I've got my Cosmo magazine which I'm going to read um, and see if there's anything on TV and just chill because one I am tired. <laughs> this dog honestly and two I've got the worst cramps ever like I think I'm fairly fortunate in a way because obviously I don't have a lot of periods and I don't get bad cramps but today ow um <laughs> essentially um I honestly love getting a Cosmo mag when I'm ill and I did get it when I was ill on Wednesday or Thursday um and I've actually just not had the chance to read it. That's Macy chewing a bone in the background, if you can hear that. Um, I always wanted to be like a magazine editor. More importantly, or more specifically, I'll say, I don't know if there will be one in here. I imagine there is. Um, it's like stuff like this. You know where there's like a picture and there's like a breakdown of where you could buy similar items. That was like my dream career was to make those. Um, obviously not exactly went down that route, but you know. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do is just have a chilled evening. James won't get in till half ten, and I'm gonna assume I'll be in bed by then. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. I think this has been a long vlog to be honest, considering I always say I've got a really boring life and nothing to even film i think this has been quite a lengthy video um so if you've got to this point do leave me a comment to let me know that you have maybe i don't know comment something that i'll know that you've got to this point um 
but yeah i hopefully will be vlogging more in the future as i said probably if oh my god i didn't even do an intro i had an intro planned i'm gonna have to film an intro now um or maybe could i film it on wednesday when i've actually got like makeup on and stuff oh god why didn't i think of this it's okay we'll just see what happens um yes so what i was gonna say is i am gonna vlog whenever i have a few days off to make it like a longer weekend if i've got the week off um or if i'm up to anything that exciting that i can dedicate a whole like daily vlog to it or weekend vlog if that makes sense um and i do have lots more content planned like more hauls and um routines and things like that so do stick around if that's your kind of thing and i'll see you in my next video